America's most visited national park to find solitude with 14 million visitors. You kind of have to go pretty far off the trail, but that's also where you're going to discover the best trout fishing. Brook trout in the Smokies. Now the trophy trout are dying. Ben Cathy spent months tracking the killer in the Smokies. He discovered the fish face a battle one many of us thought was fixed decades ago. We should get strikes. With just the right dry fly. A lot of our mayflies are coming off right now. Pat Tully wades in. So the brook trout up here in the Smokies are normally about four to eight inches. He's a guide. Business relies on catching. It's just know where they're going to be, reading the water. And not looking. With every cast, around every bend, generations of practice behind him. Flies passed down from his grandfather and father. A fish that has so much family history. Oh. Beautiful fish. It's a real nice fish right here. We've got tens of thousands of fish, Pat. How does the feeling change each time? Um, well, every fish is a different fish. It's a different animal. So this fish has a story, so I think about that a lot. Catch and release keeps the story going. Scientists worry an old villain may try to end the chapter. We've been able to document seven populations just since the early 90s that have been eradicated or lost. And when we checked, it was due to low stream pH. Acid rain, killing native trout. This is the man who's made protecting them his mission, Matt Cole. That's alarming. Uh, that tells us this is real. A third of the streams in the National Park are in dire straits. The farther upstream you go, the worse the water quality is. Smaller, colder streams right here under Klingman's Dome. Legally, these and other streams impaired. When a rain event comes and it drops it another unit to a unit and a half, you're getting into a place where they just can't survive. We're violating the Clean Water Act for pH. We met Jim Renfro in the fog at Look Rock. These clouds bring back another time. And you couldn't see the park from outside and you couldn't see out of the park from inside the park. Jim's witnessed the park's changes for nearly 40 years. Climbing these ladders, checking for acid rain. In the early 2000s, the entire park was part was not attainment. It did not meet. It wasn't attaining these public health standards. Both researchers say we've seen big improvements over the last decade or so. Things have changed so much. Since the 1970s, the Tennessee Valley Authority has reduced nitrogen oxides by nearly 97 percent and sulfur dioxide by 98 percent. Those are the two biggest components that make up acid rain. Look at the difference from the late 80s until now. But the harm continues. Every day, the nitrogen and sulfur that's in our atmosphere is being deposited on our landscape. Dry deposits from vehicles. The soil itself remains acidic, just waiting on a big rain. We know that it'll take a while for that, those pollutants to leak out of the soils. An ambitious goal by 2080 cutting acid rain deposition by 60%. For many years, we just continue to watch our high elevations get worse and worse and worse. Now, hope, 30 miles of streams already restored. About 100 fish per mile is our target. By transplanting fish from healthy streams to cleaning streams, a very intense process up and down the trails. It's pretty satisfying to let those go and see those fish go on to uh, establish that population once again. A couple of miles above Tremont, ending up on Pat's fly. He has family legacy to safeguard. My wife's family is uh, the Gregory and the Tifton family from Cades Cove. All three men saying that the brook trout mean more than a trophy. Does it build like a fire in you or anything to make it better? Yeah. Uh, you know, when we lose those populations, you don't just lose an opportunity there, but you lose uh, heritage. With goals still decades away, you can already smell the change. People need to know that more days than not, by far, uh, the air is clean and clear and healthy. And uh, boy, it, it used to not be that way. In Great Smoky Mountains National Park, Ben Cathy, WVLT News. Rainbow trout, brown trout, a $50 million a year industry for Tennessee, bringing tourists in. Those fish aren't native, they're stocked. The brook trout are native and they don't stock them in the Great Smoky Mountains. So, yeah, so we got to figure out what to do about all this, Ted. Down in Chattanooga, the Tennessee Aquarium has raised thousands of the little trout fry. They release them into other streams like in Cherokee National yeah. Forest. 
and there's other things being done too to try to save the brookies. Yeah, they've already established about 30 miles of streams new, a lot more going on. There's talk of using aircraft to spray basic chemicals hmm. over damaged land and streams that have been hurt by acid rain. This is already happening in New England possibility of it happening here, but Ted still years out. It's one of those things you, you mentioned it. It felt like acid rain was decades ago. It is still causing problems. All right. Weather's coming up next year. What's coming our way then?